The topic of today's infertility session is a varicocele. Varicocele is important in infertility treatment because it's the number one correctable cause of infertility in men. A varicocele, by definition, is an enlarged plexus of veins that run to your testicle in what's called the spermatic cord. It's prevalent in the general male population. 15% of men have a varicocele and may not even know it. However, 40 to 50% of men coming into the office to be evaluated for potential infertility will have a varicocele. So you can see there's a higher prevalence of varicocele in men with infertility than the general population. After this increased incidence was noted, people began to study the relationship of the varicocele to semen parameters. There are a lot of theories as to why the varicocele may cause infertility. The long and short of it is we don't exactly know. The theories center around changes in temperature to the testicle causing changes in sperm production, increase in byproducts or waste products in the testicle causing sperm production problems or hormonal abnormalities. But what we do know is in thousands of men treated over greater than 30 years that repairing the varicocele can improve the semen parameters in approximately 60% of men and lead to a pregnancy within one year in approximately 50% of those men. So it's important to know that the varicocele can be corrected and perhaps help the semen parameters. Varicocele most often affects several things with the semen test. The number of sperm, the motility of the sperm, and also the overall shape of the sperm. Varicoceles are diagnosed by being examined by a clinician. If you're examined while you're standing up and lying down, by feeling the skin of the scrotum above the testicle, the veins can be palpated or sometimes even seen from across the room. High-grade dilated veins sometimes do also cause pain, and that would be another reason to correct the varicocele would be pain, in addition to fertility concerns. Some adolescents are diagnosed with varicoceles, and without pain, the clinical significance is sometimes uncertain. However, some pediatric urologists do recommend repairing the varicoceles if there is atrophy or slowing of the testicle growth on that side. So now that we know the basics of what a varicocele is and why it's important in infertility, it's important to know what can be done about it. Varicoceles can be repaired either by an embolization procedure by a radiologist where the veins are blocked from the inside. They can be injected with a material to sclerose or block the veins chemically, or they can be repaired surgically. The way I perform the procedure is what's called a microsurgical inguinal varicocelectomy. I use this approach because the complication rate is less than 1% and the recurrence rate less than 1%. In these men, what you do is make a small incision just above the scrotum. You identify all the veins running in this cord to the testicle, and you tie them off one at a time, sparing all the other important structures in the surrounding area. Recovery is very quick. Procedure takes about two hours in the hospital, home the same day, and on some light restrictions for about 10 to 14 days. After that, back to normal activity. In about three to six months after the procedure, you can begin to see improvements in the semen parameters, and hopefully after that, a pregnancy will ensue. So I hope that gives you a brief introduction to varicoceles and why a urologist could see you and potentially help you with those in the future. Thank you.